and it was or is a prank that a lot of younger kids play, but this late night prank actually ended in violence. It certainly did. Teacher Stephen Falwell was the target of students in a game of ding dong ditch and what happened next led to charges against him. Let's get to Nick Monticelli joining us now live and today Falwell will learn what his punishment will be, but let's take us through what actually happened here. So the kids were at a Dairy Queen enjoying the May evening and decided to go prank their teacher. Went and knocked on the door, pounded on the door, rang the doorbell a couple of different times, and then took off. But apparently the teacher was a little frustrated by that, and after the second time, ran after one of the boys, caught him, and allegedly assaulted him. That led to charges, and he will be sentenced today. It was a game of ding-dong ditching in this Gibraltar waterfront neighborhood that ended unexpectedly, to say the least. In May, police say a group of kids knocked on their teacher, Stephen Falwell's door, and ran away. They did it twice, and the second time, Falwell caught up with one of the 12-year-old boys and allegedly roughed him up. The mother of the boy filed a police report accusing Falwell of assault. Police won't specify how exactly that 12-year-old was allegedly assaulted, but say the boy did not need medical attention. Initially, Falwell pled not guilty to assault and battery, but court records show that the charges have been amended to disturbing the peace. And what's likely a plea deal, Falwell pled guilty and will be sentenced today. And that sentencing is scheduled for 10 o'clock this morning. We have plans to get a camera into that Woodhaven courtroom to let you know what his sentence will be. We are live this morning, Nick Monticelli, Local 4 News Today.